Wow. All coming up, we're going to begin, though, today at 5 with a guilty verdict in the trial of ex-MSU gymnastics coach Kathy Clagus. Less than an hour ago, a jury found Clagus guilty of lying to a peace officer and misconduct in office. Jason Colthorpe is here with us now. Jason, it didn't take very long for the jury to come to this conclusion. Just a couple of hours, guys, and this case was about one thing memory. Clagus claimed she couldn't remember being told about the allegations by these gymnasts while they were challenged for also having a faulty memory and bringing it forward. But the jury clearly believed the testimony of those two former gymnasts. The prosecution challenged Kathy Clagus about her memory in 1997 when two of her former gymnasts allegedly told her Larry Nassar had abused them. She says she doesn't remember that, but she did remember her first meeting with her team after the Indy Star article broke in 2016. I defended Larry Nassar. I told him that I had sent my children to Dr. Nassar and that at that point in time, I trusted Larry Nassar. She described it as a passionate statement of support before she knew the truth of Nassar. Did you ask any of your athletes while you were there at that meeting if they had been victimized by Nassar? It never crossed my mind that one of those athletes had been victimized by Dr. Nassar. I that assumed they would have come to me and told me by then. But prosecutors believe she was told in 97 and then lied to police about it in June of 2018. Is her reaction to what Larissa and Rita told her consistent with her reaction after the Indy Star story breaks and now the volcano is erupting? It's identical. The defense closed by reminding the jury that the gymnasts had to have their memories jogged before coming forward. So the ability of those two women to accurately remember 1997 is, of course, in dispute. All of this is reasonable doubt that their memory of events is not reliable enough for you to convict Mrs. Clagus. But clearly the jury did not believe Clagus as she took the stand, which some weren't sure she might do, thought it was a little risky, but she did that today. They could have found her guilty on one of the two charges, but again, she's guilty on both counts. She now faces four years in prison when she's sentenced April 18th. And this, of course, means uh, she's the second so official right. That's right. to yeah. face jail time. Yeah. William Strample already convicted. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jason.